exact, the school lunchroom, a place for many students to, well, eat, right, so they can focus on class for the rest of the day. But some local students say their cafeteria is a different place, a place where they don't even want to taste what's put on their plate. Our Melissa Hiplett is working for you to find out what's going on, Melissa. Bill, we learned the person who heads up food services for the schools in King and Queen County was suspended a couple of weeks ago, yet some parents and students tell us the problem persists. We talked to the suspended employee, and she says she was unfairly punished. They're awful. Pictures of burnt pizzas and something so charred it is hard to identify fill Beth Paulette's camera roll. What is that? Those are the ribs, supposedly. Paulette says her sons first showed her the pictures of the cafeteria food at King and Queen Central High School on Monday, and other students confirmed their story. It just looked so unappetizing. I could not even bring myself to even try it at all. We brought those concerns to Superintendent Dr. Stanley Jones, who was out of town but spoke to us over the phone. Would you want the children here eating food that looked like that? Or being served not. food that looked like that? Not. Jones admitted there is a problem and confirmed the head of food services for the entire school system was suspended a couple of weeks ago. If an employee is suspended, generally going to be related to performance. I have an email that I... But we talked to that suspended employee, Suzanne Gilbertson, and she says none of this is her fault. My cafeteria employees have always been told if you're not going to eat it, don't serve it to the students. Gilbertson says the superintendent put someone in charge of the high school's cafeteria a few months ago, and she says that person is not properly trained. On top of that, Gilbertson says these emails show that she reached out to Dr. Jones about the issue, but she was told she did not have any authority over the new manager. I was advised that these employees, they don't report to me as they report to human resources and to the superintendent. Now, the superintendent also told me he expects his food services employees to work together as a team. And if they did, this issue wouldn't exist. He said he would address the overcooked food with his staff immediately. As for Gilbertson, she plans to address the school board with her concerns at their next board meeting. Working for you tonight, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.